The pinnacle of the Royal Society of Biology's 10th year anniversary celebrations was their gala dinner at the start of March. Held at the Science Museum in London, the evening was a celebration of the achievements of the RSB over the past decade. Amongst the attendees was RSB Honorary Fellow Sir David Attenborough, who received a Lifetime Achievement Award and spoke on the importance of biologists now and for the future. The Royal Society of Biology celebrates its 10th anniversary this year, and to mark the occasion, the Society hosted a glittering gala dinner at London's Science Museum. This event is a celebration. As an organisation, we've been around now for 10 years in our current structure. It's not long in some ways, but an awful lot has happened. We have a history that goes back 70 years to our two founding bodies who came together. And it's an opportunity to celebrate what's happened, not just for the organisation, but also for bioscience, because there's been so much innovation, so much application and impact of biology over the last 10 years that we want to celebrate that as well as what we've been doing to try and support it. Well, it started as a merger between two organisations, the Institute of Biology and the Biosciences Federation, with a modest but good membership. Since then, the membership's grown, the profile's grown, the activities have grown, and of course, it's become the Royal Society of Biology. With a membership of over 18,000 individuals and more than 100 member organisations, the RSB is at the forefront of inspiring and championing the best of life sciences. RSB President Professor Dame Julia Goodfellow awarded the President's Medal to the Society's two former Presidents for their distinguished support and outstanding achievement in science. The Professors swapped handshakes for a spontaneous, hands-free, social distancing alternative. <laughs> Guest of Honour Sir David Attenborough was awarded the Society's inaugural Lifetime Achievement Award. So this award that comes from you will hold a very special place of honour in my house because I do truly believe that biologists have a great responsibility, that you can see the future clearer than most people and that many of you are concerned with passing on that understanding to the next generation. I commend you for what you do. I commend you for your concern about the truth of the natural world and the way it works. And I thank you very much for this. Thank you. One thing I really want to focus on is getting people excited about science and the amazing careers it has to offer. I remember in an interview you did once, Sir David, where someone asked you, whether you did, when you developed your passion for nature, and you replied, when did you lose yours? We have uh, Nobel Prize winners uh, here tonight. Uh, we are at the forefront of uh, so many uh, of the, uh, the leading research uh, endeavours, from, uh, from the, the genome uh, to agricultural applications, um, and that is, part of the long tradition of British excellence uh, in science and biology in particular. You know, when you look at the major challenges which face society at the moment, almost all of them have biology at their heart, whether that's antimicrobial resistance, whether it's climate change, whether it's food security, whether it's the burden of disease. And so when I look to the future, I think about the way in which bioscientists and biology can underpin those areas of activity. From the House of Commons to the Royal Society of Biology, happy anniversary. The Royal Society of Biology, happy 10th anniversary. It's been a pleasure to work with you. Royal Society of Biology, wishing you the happiest of anniversaries. Happy, happy anniversary, Royal Society of Biology. Society of Biology.